Yep, skill level shit. And ain't that the truth? Welcome to Motolize, the place for all your motorcycle hungers and needs. Today's Enduro Cross Ride was uh, here in the Northern Emirates um, between areas of Dibba and Masafi for the starting point. We chose Rail, which is a beautiful little village uh, down in the valley. It's an unbelievably green and so clean and we we're all surprised like what is this place? Anyhow, we chose the road, uh, the route to the north and then we just winged it. I mean, we kind of had an idea where to go around, but um, we also thought it would be a good idea to just uh, go wherever. So this is the entrance to the wadi itself from the village and uh, right off the bat, <laughs> I'm always at these forks. Where should I go, left or right? So uh, at this point Sif uh, went in front of me and uh, he picked the left road but you will see somehow whenever I am at the fork I kind of choose right and uh, I've noticed that while I was watching this video it wasn't something um, that I've noticed before. A little bit warming up uh, the bike getting used to uh, the terrain. Terrain is mostly... Um, rocky like this uh, loose rocks and hard packed dirt it's uh, quite loose uh, and uh, lifts a lot of dust and rocks fly like mad so when you're riding behind somebody don't be in their line and this is the first time I chose right so there was a perfectly good uh, road on the left but I saw a little twisty road over here and I was like, well, well, let me take a small twisty road and in my head, what if it goes nowhere? Well, huh. if it goes nowhere, we'll just turn around and find another way. And this is the beauty of these rides because uh, we don't really have a, a specific destination. Uh, it's just an exploration ride here. Yet again, uh, going right. Yeah, I uh, picked it up. I don't know where I'm going. Apparently, I was going to... Uh, what turned out to be a dead end, uh, which is not uncommon at, at these places, so we just uh, stopped. A little bit of negotiation there. Um, again, I don't know why I always take the lead, and uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's not like I know this area. None of us except for Safe has ever been here before and uh, I guess at the end of the day it doesn't matter. You just you know, gun it and uh, wherever you stay, you stay. So a little bit of uh, going through uh, the wadi itself, these little, these little roads are because you need to get somewhere to some nicer trails and trails usually branch out of uh, these roads left and right and they can take you to a valley on top of a mountain in a cave they can take you literally anywhere now again yeah look at me going right what uh, this was actually kind of, kind of nice you know a little jump gets you up on the hill and just opens up into a little cliff on the left and but and the at the end of this road there was a huge gutter and we probably could have gone over that and there in the mountain uh, but uh, decided uh, against it I guess so everything is still yellow As I was saying, everything is still yellow because uh, summer is just going away. We didn't have rain in a while, but that is soon to change because uh, the weather in the last two days have changed drastically and we're getting low temperatures in the morning, uh, around 20 degrees uh, Celsius and uh, still there are no clouds, but when it starts raining, everything is going to start blooming, everything is going to turn green and uh, 
those rides are gonna be really beautiful because wadis are gonna be full, gonna be a lot of water crossings and probably some mud and probably we won't be lifting up that much dust. Um, gunning it again down this uh, dirt road, like, I don't know where I'm going, but uh, I'm bound to get somewhere. And uh, it's nice because sometimes like this now I pass. Oh, I saw a place on the left. Should we take this path? We should, yeah, kick it a million times. One is usually a scout, sometimes two are scout, but if guys who don't know what's going on see that two people go scouting, everybody follows. And when everybody follows, uh, well, things happen. And nothing major happened over here, and this was just a, a, a short path. Though it was a really, really nice uh, little climb. Uh, none of these things yet are very technical and uh, well, we're not much of a technicians to begin with. Um, you know, a bunch of, of uh, absolute beginners sitting on dirt bikes and just uh, trying their luck. Push and pull. These tires are not for gnarly climb. Let's go back down. Every climb and every descent. I don't know. Descents are always a little bit harder than the climb. A little bit harder. Okay, back on the main road. Let's find another little piece of track that uh, we can use. I'm just staring at this and uh, imagining what it would be like three months from now when it's all wet. And then suddenly we came into this village which had a road. So I was like, you know what, I'm not riding the road. There is a gutter on the side of the road, this little gutter that you can see, so I just decided to ride in the gutter. but. I went like two sections up ahead and uh, suddenly I noticed nobody's following me. So I uh, decided to back up a little bit and see what the, what the delay is. And uh, here they are. Mm, here yeah. they are. Mm, they want to go up to the right. Okay, let's go up to the right. I mean, not like I know better. So just uh, get out of here and a little bit to the right and see what we can find there. What we found there was actually uh, an amazing cliff. Uh, it's, the, it's the place you've seen at the thumbnail for this video. This place, I don't know how to explain it, but it looked so amazing, yellow and, and uh, green and and it was really steep. There was a little path on the right, but I, I don't think we were just joking. None of us could have made that. And then when we were down, what then? Because there was no coming up from there. So let's continue a little bit in the gutter and uh, try to find another way because um, we've decided it's, uh, we've been at it, at it for a while and we decided it's time for a quick break, but we don't want to just take a quick break anywhere so uh, a little bit uh, through the gutter and through the gutter and uh, where did it take us let's see oh, and these big boulders and it's everything is loose if you just slide a little bit it takes you on the boulder eh, not nice oh, random pickup truck and these are common here and just greet everybody yep we found something what did we find what did we find Scouted this one, but I think this wasn't. Uh, it was closed off, so we went uh, over this little hill. And what this is going to be is a very nice little uh, single trail. It wasn't too long. Uh, we could have continued a little longer, but it gave us a perfect op uh, opportunity to rest a little bit. 
everybody needs to rest we're eating dust here like, just rinse off everything and uh, yeah. lovely lovely oh some of these places and then you don't know where you're going and you're like in the middle of nowhere and this was so amazing you come to this place the single track and stop and it opens it in in a valley and there is like a place there a little town or a village like right there so i guess the rest is done so the rest was over and uh, we continued uh, back down the single track and uh, to see what else is there so uh, normally uh, it gets hot in midday still it gets really hot and uh, we don't carry a lot of stuff we don't have a lot of fuel so these uh, rides tend to not last more than three or four hours and uh, usually we just look for you know at least one trail that's worth it something where we can actually you know have a lot of fun and uh, we continued uh, down those uh, little fire roads eventually we uh, found uh, something else that was uh, kind of fun safe went out to um, check the road out to explore a bit we followed and it took us to this it was an absolute mess big rocks these rocks are sharp guys like these rocks will slit your tire they will they will break your leg they will break your frame you don't want to end up on top of one of these rocks so you gotta pick your path carefully he went a little bit uh, more forward yeah apparently it was a dead end so he said maybe on top there is another road so yeah why the hell not let's do our amateur u-turns and nobody here can do a, <laughs> a wheelie u-turn not yet anyway i mean i'm gonna have more of these videos uh, in the coming months and years probably and you'll see how the skills improve i'm sure um, this was a nice little run again it wasn't too long but it was really nice again slippery twisty full of ruts full of big rocks so uh, you know just uh, stay on your foot pegs and uh, go as fast as you can <laughs> uh, sometimes that's the that's the way just give it yep little bounce and now we're coming down to the wall uh, i don't need to say this anybody who ever watched the video that's been shot on gopro knows this gopro with a super view especially doesn't show how steep anything is so this was the way up Next time it's gonna be 10. <laughs> I mean... I guess it's time to find something else. Back the way we came and uh, we're still heading north at this point. We're still heading north. Uh, 
and uh, we'll see where it takes us. These roads are nice and uh, I mean they're fun to ride even like this when it's just uh, flat and just a path going somewhere. Uh, they're probably not as fun to watch but definitely fun to ride. So I came to a different place um, again getting out of the wadi. Oh. general sentiment. I think there is something over there, let me go and check. I mean, how do I think something is over there? I don't, like, all I found is a steep descent that was just sliding under me. something there but uh, wasn't worth it and uh, continue get out of the wadi a little patch on the road of course I'm not gonna show and then we just a few hundred meters uh, later we found a path taking us to the left and uh, it also turned out not to be a very long path but it was uh, also quite a nice descent and uh, these little things are good if you want to improve your technical skills like if, if you know it's not too difficult but uh, it challenges you a little bit so see we all started like up on the foot pegs and uh, Hish was the first one to sit they sat down I tried to stay on the foot pegs all the way down the no dab just to modulate the the rear brake the front brake and the clutch uh, to kind of count to get me down and uh, yeah it's uh, actually quite possible and uh, here I heard it Can you hear that had to stop I thought my spoke was out or something. I, I thought something happened and then uh, yeah, caught a wire. I don't know where and how. So uh, that was a bit of a. Yeah. Obviously, I was going to shoot that whole thing. And uh, next thing that happened is we uh, continued. Uh, going a little bit straight and uh, wander off to this single trail and it took us to a really really messy exit uh, there is literally no path uh, by only next to this uh, bush so we just went for it one by one again it doesn't show the steepness but when you're on that rock it's super narrow and you're just looking straight down so uh, we had to be is this more technical to your liking no, this is good. okay <laughs> hold it oh, 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 coming This thing is holding on like a waterfall. Good boy. Here, here. You got it, you got it. Awesome. Okay. 
I'm done. My turn. All good, all good. My turn. Um, this uh, XR 400 are. It's so obedient. It is such a Honda. Like really. It's uh, so far. I'm really, really happy with it. So uh, I guess uh, another little break. Smoke them if you got them, and recite some poetry. Monument. And then GoPro can see it. I'll pan. Okay. That that's that's the place. Let's go. There was uh, something like. Uh, it is. Monument up there. I didn't know what it was. Safe went up ahead because I had some thorns in my in my in my uh, butt from sitting there where we rested, and uh, we decided to give it a shot. It was a nice little climb, short but uh, pretty nice. Again, just like everywhere, it's ruts, boulders. And loose gravel, like it's uh, it's quite a messy terrain. I, I don't know what you can see on the video, um, but you don't want to stop here. And sometimes, you know, the bike will just have its own trail. Anyway, I had no idea what it was, and we're continuing a little more out of there and uh, back on the fire road, and there I've seen this thing on the left, I guess they've seen it too, and we're like, hmm, you know what, uh, let's check that out, looks promising, and really it was promising, because this led us to, um, I guess, the best track of the day. Uh, it was a uh, kind of a nice twisty road to get there and then we had uh, one little turn um, to the right which wasn't uh, absolutely great it was short and it was a dead end and then uh, came this uh, I actually don't know if this is the first or the second one um, but it was twisty it was going uphill so we decided to actually uh, give it a shot and uh, it was really nice um, it was looser than the rest of, of our of our road and you will see like here uh, I had a little bit more of a wheel spin in the back which uh, which normally doesn't happen a lot and then uh, it will happen uh, once or twice more on this road I don't know why uh, maybe maybe it is a bit of more hard back dirt and and the layer of, of stones on top there are smaller stones so so it, it kind of it happens it slips a lot and slides and uh, it's going up and down yeah here again you see that but but it's nice it's nice it's nice these things uh, as long as they don't uh, turn into a high side, <laughs> they're fine. You're fine because really, when you when you slide like this, if you decide to hit a brake or or take out the power immediately, it can easily and your or your body position is not right, it can easily become a high side. You slide over and just fall over the side. Uh, this is. Uh, this is one of the dangers of slides, so when your wheels start sliding, what I've learned so far is just ride it out. Ride it out. Good thing is I was on an uphill, so and uh, like take a little bit away, a little bit of throttle, but uh, don't kind of switch it out completely. And uh, yeah, this road opened up in this little valley. So I was kind of, okay, let me climb here, see what's there, and uh, this was like 
seriously a perfect spot. I know when in a couple of months this is all gonna be green and uh, pretty beautiful. We stopped there for for, uh, for a couple of minutes just to take it all in. It was really quiet. Like these places are so quiet. Like there is no white noise of anything. There is no electricity. There is no generators. There is no cars except for our like nothing. It's very 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 quiet and beautiful. And uh, then we decided to head back. And uh, although after this uh, track we did ride a little bit more, nothing was really as exciting or as interesting. And we've been at it for quite a while uh, since then. So um, after this was done, we tried one more little trail, but uh, it wasn't great. And then we decided to find our way back to the cars and trailers. I'm still going to uh, show you the rest of this trail. I kind of been at it and uh, so I pinned it a little bit, a little bit of heavy braking to the side and this is quite steep, you can't see it so uh, you know, like I needed to slow down to, to regain traction and um, went back down into uh, the little road that uh, actually took us here and uh, went out on the main road and uh, most of the rest was a big fire road just uh, just going and, and uh, finding our way back uh, we managed to get a couple of sections with a little bit of a higher speed we're looking at uh, Hisham's uh, data from Relive app and uh, he hit the maximum speed of 93 kilometers an hour which to be honest I don't know if it's uh, fast or slow on roads like this I don't even have a speed of so for me anything is uh, anything goes so yeah thank you for watching and uh, for staying into this video for such a long time um, subscribe to the channel what do I tell you if you want to see my regular content as well uh, you know tutorials tips and tricks things I do bike reviews gear reviews um, all these things are there I imagine it to be a nice resource for every type of rider um, of course it's always the new riders the beginner riders that are looking for more of these kind of information so uh, I try to to give that information the most for people who are new at it and for people who really don't know you know what's going on and what to expect so Motorized is uh, motorcycles analyzed, right? So anything about motorcycling, I try to break it down, chew it up, so that uh, you will get a better idea of what it is, what it means, what are the really cool things about motorcycling, what are the dangers as well, but, but uh, the really cool things outweigh the dangers so much because uh, you can't be safe on a motorcycle and uh, all you need to do is just uh, follow a couple of little rules and you will have a nice long motorcycling life and enjoy it quite a bit so uh, if you like to see uh, this run to the very end stick around um, I'm gonna check out. See ya.
saw something here. Thought I'd check it out. I saw something here, thought I'd check it out. I'll go a little bit, huh?